What up, guys? I'm back. Back with another rant. God, so much on my mind this week. It's ridiculous. But today I'm talking to you not about toxicity, not about, you know, BS partners or anything like that. Something that I'm sure a lot of us can relate to. Um, and uh, on the Facebook pages and the websites and everything like that is item prices, man. Item prices. I mean, if we take a look right here, right here, okay, if you have, let's say, this, for example, Hellfire, okay? It took me a Crimson Endo, four Screen Mantis, and a couple imports to get this item. Why, you ask? Just because of the simple, plain fact of what a spreadsheet said. Now, in this guy's defense, okay, he was not a spreadsheet warrior, okay? Someone who, a spreadsheet warrior is someone who basically goes after, oh, I only want 1.6 for my hellfire because that's what the sheet says, or overpay, or I have heat, I want 16,000 crates. You know, it's ridiculous. Item prices should be what you deem worthy. It, I mean, fuck, dude. Okay, Let, let's, let's, let's see. Purple Mantis, Purple Mantis right there, perfect example. Purple Mantis is one of the, the more expensive colors or paint items for the Mantis car, for the import, right? In my head, it is double or triple that amount that they have on the spreadsheet. Why, you ask? Because of the fact that it is, I like it. I love my Purple Mantis. I mean, look at this. Look, look, look at what I'm able to do. I mean, it is such a sick looking car. I mean, fuck, dude. You know what I mean? So it's like, why would I want to give that away for something of lesser value to me? It's kind of like your personal items. You probably, I'm sure each and every one of you watching right now has something in your possession that you have held on to for a long time, right? I mean, I know I do. I mean, shit, this laptop, for example. Um, let's see here. Uh, there's, there's nothing right here, but I have figurines. I, I have, uh, uh, Jane, uh, excuse me. I have Jones Soda. Okay, I don't know if that's everywhere that you guys might have this stuff, but it's little glass bottles. And I basically one year um, helped, well, no, I didn't actually do this one. No, this was my aunt. My aunt made these for my cousin's party one day because he was an avid zombie player and made him the Perca-Colas. If any of you guys out there are zombie players from COD, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And I have, if I'm not mistaken, a Juggernaug and a Quick Revive. Now, to me, I will never get rid of those just because of the fact that those are the two perks that I always used. That is a number one thing that you get when playing solo in Zombies is Quick Revive, and then you go for Jugs, bottom line. If you don't get those, you're done, right? So those two bottles of a dollar something soda mean way more than that to me. That's exactly the way I feel that it should be with these, with these items in, in the game. I got Hellfire, I am happy. That's what I wanted. I might go for like fireworks or something like that that's cool, you know what I mean? But I'm good. I don't care about all this stuff. I mean, $400 for a set of fucking wheels? Are you kidding me? I'll go put $400 into something and get something for my Corolla, dude. I mean, come on now. And now granted, hey, if this is something that you guys like, if this is your life, great. You know what I mean? By all means, if that's what you spend, want to spend your money on, then go for it. But I mean, I'm going to have some examples in here, you know, obviously that you guys have seen that this spreadsheet stuff is ridiculous. It's, it's horrible. It's just horrible. But anyways, guys, I mean, sorry, there's no gameplay today. I know it's kind of just a little rant video and everything like that, but I, I just had to get it off my chest. It's ridiculous. Lay off the pricing on the spreadsheets, guys. You don't have to pay 16 heat for something. Find somebody willing to wait. If you don't want to get rid of an item, don't get rid of it unless you're willing and ready to do so. Either way, guys, appreciate the tuning in. Thanks for listening once again. I know this is just a little rant video. Don't really do much of them. But next time, I'll have some good gameplay for you and hopefully some funny stuff as well. Peace out.